Burnout's a bitch. I know I've been there, but you can beat it. I'll talk about what it is and then look at how it can be banished. Now I'm not a doctor and this video is provided for information only. If you think you're suffering, please, please, please do get in touch with your doctor straight away. Burnout is a negative state of emotional, physical and mental exhaustion. It is caused by excessive stress and the inability to cope with it, and it happens in stages. First up is the honeymoon. You think all is well, but it's the early days. The second one is the onset of stress. You have peaks and troughs and may feel like you need a drink at the end of the day or you start comfort eating. The third one is chronic stress. It just won't go away and those habits may become addictions. The fourth stage is called burnout. You're out of the game and it can take months or even longer to recover. But when it becomes habitual burnout at stage five, you become vulnerable to depression and anxiety and you may crash out for years or worse. Now, what are the five common signs? The first one is depersonalization. You feel out of control and are disconnected, detached from yourself, emotionally numb or empty and feel unable to gain control. The second one is loosely called laziness and this becomes more of a constant over time, not just a lazy day or some procrastination we all suffer from. Burnout is a swing from being an achiever to just disconnecting from life. The third one is a lack of passion. Now nothing lights your fire and you've pushed yourself to the edge. A fourth sign is being moody and irritable. You're not in control of your emotions, though you used to be. A fifth sign is that you start to neglect your self-care and withdraw from others. Your personal hygiene sucks and you're exhausted by simple tasks. Now these can be accompanied by other physical signs, which also include headaches, stomach problems, hypertension, sleep changes or difficulty sleeping, muscle tension, cold or flu-like symptoms, exhaustion and fatigue. Remember, I'm not a doctor, so if you are worried, go and talk to a real one. That's the trouble with shopping lists like this. You can self-diagnose and panic, which is not the idea. So how do we banish burnout? The key element to prevention or recovery is that your life requires change and action on your part, even though you might not feel like it. The areas to focus on are your work-life balance. Be realistic about your workload. Ask for support. Align with your why, the reason why you do things. Get exercise have a healthy diet and celebrate your wins. Make a change today and tell me what area you're gonna focus on in the comments. I use a lot of practices from my recent resilience video here. And if you wanna go deeper into the subject I talk about today, you can watch the extended cut here. And until next time, my friend, live your light.